today, guys, we're gonna be talking about true horror stories that happened at Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, your hands and stomp your feet. If you guys are excited, smash the like and subscribe, or else Chuck E. Cheese will come to your house at 3 a.m. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna get right on into these stories that happened at Chuck E. Cheese, and they are quite terrifying. The first horror story actually revolves around the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. As a kid, whenever you'd walk into a Chuck E. Cheese, you'd see, obviously, the bright ball pit filled with rainbow balls, and you never really thought about what could be inside of the ball pit. Well, there has been a variety of horror stories over the years, especially on Reddit forums, where people say that they've found things in the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit that were not supposed to be there, all the way from snakes, knives, bad things that I can't even say on camera, just awful things that have been found in the ball pit. But I'm going to share a specific story from a past Chuck E. Cheese employee about things that they have witnessed and one horror story in particular about the ball pit. So one story that this employee talked about with the ball pit was so horrifying that I'm gonna tell it to you guys. So this one employee said they were cleaning up the ball pit and that every single night when they would shut down, sometimes they would take the balls out of the pit. You know, now scoop out what's beneath the pit and then try to clean them off like they'd hose off the balls like once or twice a month which is kind of gross. Anyways, so this one employee who was cleaning up one night at the Chuck E. Cheese shift, cleaning up the ball pit, said she heard a little girl's voice from the ball pit said, hey, hey over here. So then the employee began to worry because they were shut. The whole Chuck E. Cheese had turned off its lights, like they were closing down for the night, all the kids were gone, and now she's hearing the voice of a small child inside of this Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Anyways, so she ended Ended up going over to the ball pit like freaking out like hello where are you hello is there a kid and then she stopped hearing the voice and she started digging more and she heard from the other side behind her another whisper going hey over here and she turned around to see a dark figure behind her that just vanished when she saw a hand slide into the ball pit and she dug around and she said there was nothing there. They ended up cleaning out the whole ball pit, saw nothing there. They checked the security camera footage and they still didn't see what the girl saw. So they think that she had seen a ghost in this Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Apparently, uh, she ended up quitting the job. She was so terrified she didn't want to go back after that. And a few other employees at the same Chuck E. Cheese had similar but different experiences with this exact Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Somebody said that they had seen a figure of a kid walk into the ball pit and merge down and just disappear. And another employee said that they had heard growling noises inside the ball pit, sounding kind of like a, a dog or some sort of animal when they were closing down for the night. So that's kind of creepy. I don't know what's going on at Chuck E. Cheese's being haunted, but uh, that's that's kind of weird. Anyways, moving on from the ball pit, we haven't talked about the tube tunnels. The tube tunnels have a lot of horror stories connected to them as well, for their own liking, but um, we're gonna talk about the tube tunnels. So as you guys know, the ball pits are usually by the tube tunnels. The tube tunnels are those fun little tunnels that you get to crawl around inside of. Anyways, there's been a lot of horror stories revolving around the tube tunnels. One story revolves around a little girl who actually got stuck inside the tube tunnels. So this is pretty bad. There was a little girl enjoying her evening with her family at Chuck E. Cheese one day when she ended up crawling into the tube tunnels. So there's this one tube tunnel with like a car. I don't know if you guys remember it, but if you crawl so far, you know, you get into this like little race car and it makes noises. Anyways, when she was in this car tube tunnel at the Chuck E. Cheese, it eventually ended up falling partially and she got stuck. So she was just hanging there freaking out like, help me, help me. And they had to get the fire department to go to this specific Chuck E. Cheese apparently and take her out of this car thing because the, the whole structure bent. I don't even know how this happens. New fear unlock getting stuck in a, in a tube tunnel and having to get the fire department to unlatch you. That's kind of scary. I don't know, but she was okay. So that's all that matters according to this random reddit story that I found. I don't even know if it's true, but that's what reddit said. Another story I've heard about the tube tunnels is that there has been a lot of interesting things that have happened in the tube tunnels. Um, there's been times where obviously like adults sneak into there when they're not supposed to, but I mean we all have that urge to like crawl in the tube tunnels, but we're not supposed to be in there. It's for kids. We all know that. And there's been other times where people say they found dangerous things stuck in the tube tunnels, like people piling bugs inside of there when they're not supposed to, kids pulling pranks on other kids, trapping them in the tube tunnels, pouring like gross liquids into the tube tunnels and then getting stuck in there and gross poopy diapers. I don't need to go on about it, but tube tunnels are a new fear unlocked as well as the ball pit. Moving along, we're gonna get into some different stories. So the next story actually revolves around a tragedy that happened in 2015. So back in 2015, there was a girl from Indiana who was 63 years old and she was driving 
past the Chuck E. Cheese when she ended up going off the road and slamming into her local Chuck E. Cheese. And this already is a horror story on its own, you know where this is gonna go. She eventually slid into the parking lot of Chuck E. Cheese from some sort of accident and then slammed through the Chuck E. Cheese, actually injuring three children sitting inside eating pizza at the tables. One 12 year old had wounds on his head and left arm and one five year old had wounds on both. And I think one parent was also injured that was sitting at the table with these children as well. They all had to go to the hospital and unfortunately the bad part is the lady driving actually died in this accident when she slammed through the local Chuck E. Cheese. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. I still to this day don't know what happened to this lady, but there's been a lot of rumors about dark things at that Chuck E. Cheese ever since. So another Chuck E. Cheese horror story. This one is pretty dark, but you know how when you go into a Chuck E. Cheese and you stamp your, or you have your kid's hand stamped or you have your hand stamped, they do this for safety precautions because back in the days, before they started stamping kids' hands, there was a really creepy incidents where kids were almost kidnapped or were kidnapped at Chuck E. Cheese. So, this is really, really scary, but there was a time back before they started stamping hands at Chuck E. Cheese when there was these creepy people that would go into Chuck E. Cheese's and look for kids who were off playing games and they would be lured in with like tickets and stuff or, you know, vice versa. Like, hey, come over here, we have free pizza if you want some kind of thing. Anyways. So Chuck E. Cheese, that's obviously a place where a lot of kids go, so creepy people would go in there. And there was times where, you know, they'd be lured in with like a prize, like, oh, I have this really cool prize. If you come over here, you know, you can have it, or if you come in my car, etc. So there's been times where kids have literally gone missing at Chuck E. Cheese. To this day, to not have been found, but there's also a really creepy story that I read online about the animatronics. And these are all urban legends, so I just want to point that out. These are urban legends, but there's this one story about a little kid who claimed that he heard a voice coming from one of the animatronics in Chuck E. Cheese. This kid was looking at the animatronics and he said, Mom, Dad, the purple animatronic just said, come over here. And the parents were like, no, no, they don't speak. And the son was like, yes, they do, Mom. He said, come over here. So the kid crawled up on the stage by the animatronics and he was looking at all of them and he saw that there was a curtain in the back so he decided to crawl back in the curtain when his parents weren't looking. Rumor has it, he ended up crawling into the back of the curtain backstage by all the animatronics, ooh spooky, and ended up not being found for two days after that. Then accordingly when the parents got him back the kid said, I can't tell you what happened. The animatronics were talking to me and everyone was like, no, no, your kid just snuck into the back of the animatronics and sat there for two days when he wasn't supposed to. But to this day, people have rumors and conspiracies that there's something darker about those animatronics. For now, you just never know. So we love urban legends. And last but not least, there's been so many, so many numerous, numerous reports of people that work the Chuck E. Cheese night shift seeing and hearing things that they aren't supposed to hear from the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. So as you guys know, I love covering paranormal, but I also love covering animatronics. And a lot of these stories have to do with both of those things. There is this one specific location that there is a little ghost who actually haunts the top floor in an attic at a Chuck E. Cheese. It used to have a full floor of animatronics. It's actually the world's biggest Chuck E. Cheese. I think it's in San Francisco. Anyways, back before they pulled the animatronics out, the workers who were working there had some crazy true stories that they shared online, especially on the Reddit forums. And I have to share some of those with you guys. So one of these workers was hired for just about a week and she simply was shut Turning off the lights, you know, turning off the animatronics at night. And she claims that every time she'd turn off the animatronics, she'd shut them off for the night, they'd be facing one way, and then she'd turn around just to like check, make sure there's no one in the chicken cheese. All of them would be completely the other opposite direction. And they would do this every single night. And she started losing her mind. So she would tell her boss, like, hey, are they supposed to reset? Are they supposed to turn, switch sides like that? Like I'd turn them off and they'd all be facing one direction and then I'd turn around and I swear they'd, they'd, that they're the other direction. And the boss is like, no, they don't do that. Once you shut them off, the air compressors inside just kind of fall and they just like slouch over, but they're not supposed to turn. So she ended up keeping a camera out one night and she filmed every time that this was supposed to happen. Like it had happened all the nights when she wasn't filming. And she claims that her camera would just die, the batteries would just drain, 
or the camera would die and then as soon as she turns off you know the camera that she turn around and then they do it again so she could never get evidence of this and she felt crazy some of her other co-workers never witnessed the same things but they had witnessed other things where some of them said that they claimed they heard a little girl running behind the curtains of the animatronics giggling just like laughing and they'd look behind the curtains of the stage of the animatronics and they'd be like no one's there while other people claimed that these animatronics would sing and dance and move after hours at night when people would walk past the Chuck E. Cheese building at night they'd look into the windows and they'd see the animatronics like shifting or moving and blinking all by themselves when the whole place was shut off and they were shut down at this specific Chuck E. Cheese. That's crazy! Let me know in the comments down below do you guys think there are any truly haunted Chuck E. Cheeses? And comment down below do you guys have any crazy Chuck E. Cheese stories? That's it for today's true scary Chuck E. Cheese stories. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to smash a like and subscribe to join the family. It's been Lissy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!